Hello? Yes, this is Internal Revenue, yes, Miss, this is Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I uh, I got a message that there is um, there's some problem. Uh, uh, when did you receive the phone call? Uh, uh, early today. Okay, so can you verify me your first and last name on your zip code so I can fill up your case file? Sure, it's uh, F R T Y U I. F. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, so the last name is Z C V B N and the first name is Zo O E. Just hold on, I will take. Just hold on. Okay, thanks for holding. First name, what's your first name? Can you repeat again? Yes, Z O E Z O E. Y E. No, no, Z Z Z is in Peter. O is in Apple. E. So Z is in Peter. O is in Apple. E. Zoe. Right? No, no, Zoe, Zoe. You know, like Acer, yeah. like like Acer, but Zoe. Yes, J like Joy, right? No, Z is in P, as in Peter, but Z. You know, like 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 oh, Acer, yeah. but Zoe. Z no, no, it pronounced Zoe, but it's spelled Z O E. So Z is in Peter, O is in Apple, E is in uh, I don't know E L. Elephant. Elephant, yes. And then uh, K and last name? Last name is ZXC B N M and A. So not A. No, Z no Z C V B N A. B like boy. Yes. Then? Then N as uh don't know what starts with N. No? Mary. Yes, yes. N is a Mary. And A, 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 A is an apple. Uh -huh. That's it. P, Lama, right? Yes. P is in Lama. And what's your zip code? It's 19134. And verify your address? It's 94. Woodhaven Castle Woodhaven Yes 94 No just 994 Woodhaven Castle Sorry Woodhaven Castle Wood right Yes yes like in blue Castle Like 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 a castle soap you know not like a castle house. Castle soap. Yes, castle soap. No, no, but not 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 castle soap. I'm just I'm trying to spell it. Don't don't put the soap in there. Just Woodhaven Castle. Okay, just hold on. I will check your information. Okay. Thank you. Oh come on! Don't hang up on me. Hello. Okay, thank you for thank you for holding me. Hi. Yes. Uh, do you have pen and a piece of paper to write down my information? Uh, yeah. What What am I supposed to write? My name is Officer John Parker, is the Investigation Department, IRA, Internal Revenue Service. Okay, John. Right? You said uh, John is in like yes, Alfred. 
Is it like a short? But but but. Uh huh. B A K E R, Barker. Oh, ba Barker. Okay, that's that's my dad's uh, last name, Barker. Barker. Be like, uh, uh, be like parrot. Be like apple. Are like Romeo. Uh huh. Be like king. Be like elephant. Are like Romeo. John Parker. Got it. And my best, I uh, mean, my, my best ID number is uh, B like Gore, it's like same go, government service. Okay. And number, and number is the five six zero seven two. Five six zero seven seven two. Yes, five six zero seven two. Five six zero seven seven two, right? Not one seven, not uh, again. Oh, okay. Five six zero one seven two. Yes. Okay, five six zero one seven two. Got it. Okay, so we try to contact you to ascertain your attorney's information because there is a lawsuit filed against your name. So are you aware about this case before? Oh no, I just I just moved. So yeah, no, I I, I didn't get any mail del re delivered. So no. Okay, so do you want me to give me your more information on this case? Yes, of course, do you please. Want me to? Yeah, because okay. I didn't get, I didn't get any mails. You know, I just I just moved. I was I was like, uh, like like pretty much like last month, maybe two months ago. I moved and I went to the postal office and I asked them to forward all the letters, but you know they said they will, but I, I don't know if they ever did. And I usually go back to where I used to live and I ask those people for my mail and they give me some, but some of it, I guess they just don't. I'm not sure. So, yeah. Okay, so the reason behind this call is that we have done a random audit on your tax filing of last five years. Uh -huh. and we have found that there were several memorical miscalculation errors in your tax filing. Yes, you are paid the taxes every year, but not a correct pay the amount made a mistake in your tax filing. So IRS is the filing a case under your name. So do you have a lawyer who can represent you in the court for this case? Uh, well, I do have a lawyer for, you know, because I'm suing my husband for making me pregnant four times. So would that work? I'm asking you, do you have a criminal lawyer at this moment so who can represent you in the court for this case? Well, I, I do have a lawyer, but like, not like for this, not for money. Well, sort of like I'm suing my husband because he made me pregnant four times and I didn't want to have kids. So I have a lawyer to sue him. Would that lawyer work for, for you know, for this too? Okay, so... Uh yeah. All right, so let me get the case paper and I will read the affidavit number four. Uh -huh. You everything about the case, okay? Okay, okay. So before we proceed further, I would like to notify you that and this line are recorded and nominated by municipal courthouse, the local sheriff department, the immigration department, and internal revenue service headquarters. So please don't interrupt me while I'm reading this affidavit. I will answer all your questions once I am done reading the affidavit, okay? Yes. So according to the federal legislation, section 38, column 79, and there are four allegations proceed on your name. Count one, violation of the IRS Act 1956. Count two, violation of the IRS code. Count three, tax evasion, and count four, willful misrepresentation of information to a government organization. IRS audit department. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can, can, I'm sorry. Can you just hold on? I didn't see that, didn't hear the first part. You were like uh, fading out. Can you can you repeat from the top? Sorry. I there, there was some sort of a static. I couldn't hear hear you very well. Can you repeat from the top? I'm asking you, please don't interrupt me. So I will guide you step by step. How do you mistake your tax filing? Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you. So make sure don't interrupt me. Okay. 
back can i call you back my battery is about to die can i call you back I'm, i have to find a charger yes okay so can i call you back my char my phone is gonna die can i need to find a charger can i call you back is that the same number Can you call me back? Can you call me back? I'll give you my number. You call me back. In five minutes, yes? Can, can I call you back or can you call me back in five minutes? I need to find a charger. Okay. Yes? Okay, I'll ask for John Parker. Thank you. I'll, uh, five minutes. I have to find a charger. I'm taking a break. Hello? Yes, um, yes. Can you please transfer me to John uh, 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 Parker? I was talking to him and my battery died and uh, there is there is some sort of a problem with, with my taxes for the past five years. And uh, he was reading me very important information and then my battery started to die. Who do you want to speak with? John pa uh, Parker, please. My, yeah, my name is ZXVBN. Zoe, yeah, that's me. Zoe is me. I'm Zoe. Okay, thank you for holding me. The line has been connected to me. My name is Officer John Parker. Yes, hi. You, you the the John Parker with the GS five six zero seven two thing, uh, the the badge, whatever. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm sorry. Yeah, my battery died. You know, it's like this it, again. It's that's my stupid husband, and and he keeps on getting me really bad phones, and I don't know if you know, like for kids, we're not enough, and you know, things just like not working out with us. Not that. Okay. Thank, thanks, Miss. So yeah. Miss, thank you. My fault. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt me. So I will guide you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So according to the federal legislation, section 38, column 79, and there are four alleges and proceed on your name. Count one. Violation of the IRS Act 1956. Count two. Violation of the IRS Code. Count three. Tax evasion. And count four. Willful misrepresentation of information to a government organization. IRS or the department, after undertaking a statutory audit of your taxes, calculated that tax both grant 700 paid by you. The audit department has got strong evidence that this was not an innocent act or negligence, and this was will done with the intent to defraud IRS. According to the Internal Revenue Code 6, 331H, IRS has the decide to approximately recover the tax by taking following steps. <coughs> the federal tax lien is a legal claim to your property. <coughs> sorry, it sorry. Something in my throat. Required after the lien arises. Step 2, tax evasion. This is a felony and a conviction can carry a present sentence of up to 5 years. And you can't convince me. No, 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 no. You can't. I have, I have four kids. I'm telling you, I can't go to jail. Like, I, I, yes, yes, of course. Yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. and all 
fine of $200,000. And you just will notify all the creators. $100,000? I don't have that much money. $100,000? Are you sure? Regarding the tax code, your employer will be contacted and we will be garnishing your wages accordingly. IRS will freeze your bank account. That means that they will recover all your tax debts from the balance available in your bank account. You will not be able to access your bank account till the time it is frozen. If you are having an existing payment plan with the IRS, then it will stand terminated under Section 30A of Internal Revenue Code. So if you are having any prior conviction, including but not limited to worthless checks, grand theft, or money laundering. Please be aware that they will handle in your cash state of a virtual offender as your state is a zero tolerance state. With this, I have briefed about this case right now. The amount outstanding under your name is $4,768. But once this case go to the court and total charge, you will be able to pay $35,000 including penalty charge and case charge and you will be arrested for coming five years so now before i sign the paper for legal action against you and forward this information to the local authorities to get you arrested so whatever doubts or questions you have before ask them i just need to know we have done such a thing it is a mistake or intentional activity tell me well i guess intentional yeah that's is that the right answer Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, I, I don't know, I guess intentional, is that the right answer? I'm asking you, it is an intentional and it is a honest mistake. I guess it's an intentional honest mistake. Sorry? Uh, I don't know, intentional honest mistake. Is it two, uh, I'm asking you two uh, questions, it is a honest mistake or intentional activity? Uh, what's the difference? Sorry? What is the difference? So, Mitch, this is a mistake or intentional? Because I'm told you it's a miscalculation error in your tax filing last five years, 2013 to 2018, is not a calculated this year correctly pay the amount is the wrong filing your taxes right so I, is a I mean i don't know i mean i always try to get a little more taxes you know because you know like lied a little here and twisted a little there but i didn't think it would you know take me to court i mean sort of i guess it's like an intentional mistake i mean no, i'm i'm asking you it is a honest mistake or intentional and totally your pending amount is a well, I can't say like it's honest, honest, because I did like, you know, change the numbers a little, but not much. Like I didn't want to like steal like thousands. It was just a little bit, you know, because just again, I have so many kids. I just wanted to get a little bit of money. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, John, John, can you hear me? Just hold on, just hold on, okay? Thank you. Dude has zero sense of humor. I know. It's like straight up script. Yeah, straight up. I need to come up with something something more fun. Well, like asking what you have to do. I know. Okay, thank you for holding me. Yes, yes, John. So what 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 should I say? What what should be the answer? Make sure don't talk to anyone. Uh -huh, no, I won't talk to anyone. No, no, no. Don't talk to anyone because this line are federal recorder line and we have to Submit to the recording code as well. Okay, it's going to be our okay. secret. Won't tell anyone. So, it is a two option to available at this moment. Uh, first option is do you want me to go to inside the courthouse and paying this legal charges? Uh, yes. 30 to 35,000. Yes, yes. And yes. hire a criminal attorney. Then, second option is uh, do you want to resolve this case outside the courthouse? Oh, yeah, uh, outside, definitely. I don't want to go to court. I don't want to see my husband again in, in that court. Because he gets, like, he takes his girlfriend with him, and she's so nasty, and she always looks at me like I'm some sort of a trash. Yeah, so no, 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 no courthouse. I don't want to go to court. Hello? Yes, hello, John, you there? Yeah, no court. call you, can you receive my phone for my personal line, okay? Okay, call because me from your personal friend. line. Call me from your personal Are line. You, you have my number? 
right? Yes, yes, John. Thank you. Call me from your personal line. So we're going to have a, it's going to be a secret uh, conversation. Call me again right now. So can you receive my phone call, okay? Yes, thank you. Call me. I'll be waiting. Bye, John. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, Miss. Uh, Hi, John. Yes, sorry. So, you did you two options to resolve this case. First option is do you want to fight this case by hiring a criminal attorney inside the courthouse and paying this legal charges $35,000? And second option is do you want to resolve this case outside the courthouse and clear by your outstanding amount $4,768? to resolve this case outside the courthouse. Um, Can you tell me? Uh, I don't know what's the difference. So if I go to court, I have to fight someone, like physically, or, or my lawyer will fight someone no, physically? You go, you go to the inside the courthouse uh -huh. and paying this legal, legal charges, $35,000. 35? My, my car is only like a $1,000. 35 is a lot. He's a, pay, uh, he's a legal charges, $35,000. And second option is... Uh, do you want to resolve this case outside the courthouse and paying this $4,768, your outstanding amount, and cancel your arrest warrant? Okay, uh, so outside meaning like we're going to be on the street? We're not going to go inside? Or what if it's raining? Or like 